the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor is an American single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force. As a result of the USAF's advanced tactical fighter program, the aircraft was designed as an air superiority fighter, but also has ground attack, electronic warfare, and signals intelligence capabilities. The prime contractor, Lockheed Martin, built most of the F-22's airframe and weapon systems, and conducted the final assembly, while Boeing provided the wings, aft fuselage, avionics integration, and training systems. The aircraft was variously designated F-22 and F-A-22 before it formally entered service in December 2005 as the F-22A. Despite its protracted development and operational difficulties, USAF considers the F-22 a critical component of its tactical air power. The fighter's combination of stealth, aerodynamic performance, and mission systems enable unprecedented air combat capabilities. The F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation air superiority fighter that is considered the fourth generation in stealth aircraft technology by the USAF. It is the first operational aircraft to combine supercruise, supermaneuverability, stealth, and sensor fusion in a single weapons platform. The F-22 has clipped diamond-like delta wings, four empennage surfaces, and leading-edge root extensions running to the upper outboard corner of the carrot inlets. Flight control surfaces include leading-edge flaps, flaprons, ailerons, rotors on the canted vertical stabilizers, and all moving horizontal tails, stabilators. For speed brake function, the ailerons deflect up, flaperons down, and rudders outwards to increase drag. The aircraft has a refueling boom receptacle centered on its spine, and retractable tricycle landing geared the aircraft's dual Pratt and Whitney F-119 PW100 augmented turbofan engines are closely spaced, and incorporate pitch axis thrust vectoring nozzles with a range of plus or minus 20 degrees. Each engine has maximum thrust in the 35,156 kN class. The F-22's thrust-to-weight ratio at typical combat weight is nearly at unity in maximum military power and 1.25 in full afterburner. The carrot inlets generate oblique shocks with the upper inboard corners to ensure good total pressure recovery and efficient supersonic flow compression. Maximum speed without external stores is approximately Mach 1.8 at military power, and greater than Mach 2 with afterburners. The F-22's high cruise speed and operating altitude over prior fighters improve the effectiveness of its sensors and weapon systems, and increase survivability against ground defenses such as surface-to-air missiles. The ability to supercruise, or sustain supersonic flight without using afterburners, allows it to intercept targets that afterburner-dependent aircraft would lack the fuel to reach. The use of internal weapons bays permits the aircraft to maintain comparatively higher performance over most other combat-configured fighters due to a lack of parasitic drag from external stores. The F-22's thrust and aerodynamics enable regular combat speeds of Mach 1.5 at 50,000 feet 15,000 meters, thus providing a 50% greater employment range for air-to-air -air missiles, and twice the effective range for JDAMs than with prior platforms. The airplane's structure contains a significant amount of high-strength materials to withstand the stress and heat of sustained supersonic flight. Respectively, titanium alloys and epoxy composites comprise 42% and 24% of the structural weight. The F-22's aerodynamics, relaxed stability, and powerful thrust vectoring engines give it excellent maneuverability and energy potential across its flight envelope. The airplane has excellent high alpha characteristics, capable of flying at the termed alpha of over 60 degrees, while maintaining roll control and performing maneuvers such as the Herps Maneuver and Pugachev's Cobra. The flight control system and full authority digital engine control make the aircraft highly departure resistant and controllable, thus giving the pilot carefree handling. Each airplane requires a three-week package maintenance plan PMP, every 300 flight hours. The stealth coatings of the F-22 were designed to be more robust and weather-resistant than those used in earlier stealth aircraft. However, early coatings still experienced issues with rain and moisture. When F-22s were initially posted to Guam in 2009 the stealth system accounts for almost one-third of maintenance, with coatings being particularly demanding.